Now we'll demonstrate the JS system on a box connection. Like we did on the pin, this is the mic track, 12 inch, call it MT3012, and also the rod standard for setting the gauge if you didn't have a mic track. Mic track has a movable block. We've preset it to the pitch diameter dimension, the same that's on the tag. The gauge would be set down between these two ears. This simulates a gauge block, and then I would zero. Or if I wanted to use the rod standard, I'd go down, set it in between, sweep left and right and up and down until I got my lowest reading, and then zero my gauge. Okay, now we're on an NC38 box connection, right hand. I take the profile template, which is a 4.2 VO38, but it's for the box. I set it in the thread. I know it's hard to see with my big hands in there. Place it in the threads, and I run it around until it hits the face. Then I back up, and I start wiggling it side to side while I'm holding down on my index finger the, form, the profile into the threads, and then I come up until the front of the of the gauge itself hits the shoulder and then I reach in and I mark the counterbore because all of the length profile templates are designed to go to the second root from the counterbore. Being that it's a right handed thread, I take the gauge, I turn it upside down, I place the fixed point or the movable point into the second groove and I rotate it clockwise to the top and insert the fixed point in parallel with the mark and then I sweep side to side until I get my highest reading. If I was doing a left handed thread I would put it on the same second groove and I would walk the gauge counterclockwise up to the top and then hook in. That's the only difference between right hand and left hand pitch diameter measurement on a box. And again, the location template gave us a location to the counterbore. We went to the second groove or to the mark on the template. And that's where your fixed ball point would go. Just like what we did on a pin thread. 